being even less on the ball than I usually am, I did not check all the way to the right of the first part of the Moonlight Forest, and hence, I did not see this yellow shell that was right up here, above this exit pipe to the second part. But now, I've got the shell that I need to knock this out, and there we go, we can get this key, and unlocked the keyhole. This takes us back to the chemical plant, okay. And now we're going to enter this star road. Takes us over to the target break, okay. Target break. I see some targets, and I guess I need to break them. Could probably do it with these fireballs right here. Yes, that definitely helps. And destroy all the targets for you to enter in the next stage. Okay. Well, I get the idea from that. Hmm. Question is, how am I going to reach that target up there? Hmm. And how many targets are there? How am I going to reach that one? Hmm. Once it gets to the very top, maybe? There we go. Hmm. Can this platform return? Thank you. There's a target down there, too. Okay, how am I going to reach this one? It's painfully out of sync, so... But at least, even though it's out of sync, we do not get a time limit for this level. That's a good thing. Hmm. Save me from having to make mistakes like that. Oh, now over that. And now off screen, so the fireball didn't even hit. Okay. How am I going to get back to that one? There we go, there we go. Hmm. Okay, and this target right here, there we go. Now. Do, do I enter this door? What do I... Oh, there's a target right here. So it automatically warps us to the next part. And that's the end of the level, okay. That was shorter than I expected. I wonder if this... I wonder if this world's going to be easier or harder than the Super Smash Brothers-like world that we had before. Coin collection. So I guess this is going to be puzzles. Collect 50 coins. There's some hidden blocks with coins. Okay. Invisible coin blocks, I guess. Hmm. It says all 50. Hmm. There's some coins that may be hard to reach, like those two right there. Even with a vine, they're going to be a little bit hard to reach. Well, let's pick up these two. Forty more to go. <sighs> the invisible coin blocks are probably not going to be too obvious, unfortunately. <sighs> these are some invisible coin blocks I guess I will want to find. Hmm. And, you know... Maybe they're going to be more obvious than I thought. Maybe like Super Mario Bros. World 1-4, there's going to be a pattern to it. At least in one row. Hmm. Okay, 39 coins so far, just 11 more to go. I think I'm doing good. And... Invisible coin blocks here? Some, maybe. Um... I guess I'll keep going up then. Hmm. Three more probably will be invisible coin blocks, too. Okay, just two more now. Hmm. But how am I going to reach those other two? Hmm. How am I going to reach one of the other two? That's probably going to be hard. Maybe not. And there we go. End of that. <sighs> this is probably going to be a lot easier on me in terms of patience. I don't know about the viewer, though, because it's going to be a lot of puzzles. Well, I will try and cut out repetition if I need to. Gourmet race. Hurry, go to the goalpost before Kirby. I see. Hmm. Kirby just fell into a pit. Probably going to get back up, though. I do not want to fall into the water. Um, vines. Um, also, I noticed that I have a time limit. 
that's probably going to be an indicator of when Kirby is going to beat the level. Um, crud. Run, Mario. Whoops. Okay, Mario, just 15 more seconds to go. Make this jump. Good. And goal, with 8 seconds to spare. Congratulations, Mario. But Kirby is still running. Kirby, could you be a bit of a better sport? Well, enjoy that ice cream. Looks like the bonus game is going to be the same once again. Yep. Just two one-ups, but that's fine with me. Alright. So, maybe a mix of puzzles and races in this world? Maybe not. Okay, Chaos Blue Switch. Probably gonna be a puzzle here. Hmm. Okay, so, message block here. Break the color blocks with the color shells. Okay. Hmm. Guess I gotta throw one at this once again. Five, four, three, two, one. Is this far enough? Yes, it appears to be far enough with me. Okay. So, let's pick up this blue block here. And break. Wait a minute. Hmm, something's not quite right here. Oh! I forgot. Good thing you can go down these ropes. Need to go through this and wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, a Koopa shell, of course. Gotta jump on this Koopa. Make sure it's out of the shell just for safety. And now let's go ahead and break this. There we go. We're small, so it shouldn't matter too much. They're red blocks, too. I mean, at least the green blocks don't reappear. Well, let's break this. Well, let's break through, I guess. Hmm. So we go from green to red to blue to yellow, I guess. Break this. There we go. Oh, apparently I could use the red shell to trigger that. Nice. Okay, another key. Where should I use it, though? All right. In we go. A blue shell right here. Let's not accidentally knock any of those shells out. Which is going to make it trouble with this yellow Koopa right here. Okay, run Mario. Don't knock out the yellow Koopa. Good. Hm. And now, if I can get through this... Hmm. Where do I find the blue P switch? Probably back to the left. Okay, and now we go up. Here's the P-switch. Now all the way back to the right again. How much trouble does it have to be for you to press a P-switch, Mario? By accident, and for my first time, I managed to double grab a shell. So I gotta be really careful. Let's press this. And at least pressing the P-switch will turn the shell into a coin. So... Down we go, press the blue switch, and there we go. Eh, too bad we don't have a blue background to look at while we're waiting. But whatever, the power of the switch you have pushed and your progress will also be saved. There we go. And I guess that's the end of this world, which is pretty short. So, as a result, this is going to be a short video. So, next time... We'll take the star road to the left.